So let's talk about eruption. If we think about the order of eruption of the adult dentition, in general, we tend to see central and lateral incisors. Then we'll see the molars. In general, the premolars come in. And then the last teeth that tend to come in, of course, with some variation, are the canines. If there's insufficient bone to accommodate the eruption of the adult teeth, the canines have nowhere to go. And they often will either come in palatal or buccal. And so we, we call it ectopic eruption or palatal impaction. As we saw with Larry, our very first patient this morning, a popular way to line up teeth is to take teeth out. And this works if our goals are purely to line up the teeth. But what if we look at that same patient and what if we look carefully at their health history? What if we ask questions? What if we ask about articulation issues and sleep issues and breathing issues and difficulty with nasal breathing and lack of tongue space? And what if we look at gingival problems and we look at the lower arch as well? And if we ask new questions, we can maybe come up with a new treatment plan. And that's where this gets really exciting. And so rather than taking teeth out, maybe it becomes an opportunity to expand the bone itself and to make room for the teeth. And that's where this gets really exciting. So it's a bit of a paradigm shift. It's looking at these patients differently. It's asking new questions in the health history. It's thinking three-dimensionally very differently. A board-certified dual-trained orthodontist and periodontist, Dr. Bakal loves to create beautiful smiles for her patients, setting them up for a lifetime of dental and airway health. Thank you for watching this video from Inspired Orthodontics. Please consider liking the video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. To get in touch with us, visit InspiredOrtho.com, find us on social media at Inspired Ortho, or send us a text at 425-453-0551.